So the metaphor of light is really beautiful. The traditional metaphor for non-duality is what is the film played on? The film has to be played on something in order for it to to be experienced. There has to be something still on which the film has been played on. But I really like the metaphor of the light. So the way that old-fashioned films worked. I think it's most probably a computer now that you have in the cinemas. So I think now that films are done by computers, but if you think of old-fashioned lights, like, uh, ay, 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 old-fashioned, um, old-fashioned films, So if you think about these old-fashioned films, the way that it worked was the still images. So there were still images, and those still images um, have light shone through them, and then the still images are moved at a certain speed, and then what it looks like on the screen is it looks like there's a whole world happening. So these pictures move past really quickly, and then sounds put over, and it looks like there's on the screen there is a film of two people falling in love, having an argument, having a whole drama. But the whole time, the light is the same. The light is the perfect, brilliant, white light pouring through. And it's totally still the light, even though the film looks like it's moving. But because the colours change, and that's all it is, it gives the appearance, so the filter changes colour, and it gives the appearance of movement and something happening, and a whole world happening in that film. But actually, it's a light show. There is light and colour which gives the appearance that a whole film's happening and time and movement's happening. But actually, the reality of it all is that there's, t there's total and utter stillness with the appearance of movement. And who you are, who you truly are, is that light, which is the knowing, the awakeness of itself. And it is all things, it's playing every role. And there can be this energetic shift that happens in the body from being a bounded person, believing that your edge is inside here, to boundlessness. And still having the human, the very human, Lisa experience, but it's no longer bound inside there. It's everything experiencing itself from the Lisa perspective, though, in through this instrument. And that's the end of suffering. After that, so, so there is the initial awakening where it's kind of seen intellectually or there's a bit of a cloud moving and it's seen that who you are is that boundlessness that's not located anywhere. And then for a period, it, it contracts and expands, it contracts and expands. Then there's a movement from being that separate entity to that expandedness. And then from this perspective, now what's happening is the body seemingly for the last seven, six, seven years, there's been a, a more of an integration into the human of Lisa. I know that sounds odd, but the karma and the body of Lisa has been catching up. So before there were old tendencies and loads of them fell away when there was that shift, but these tendencies are relaxing. So, so neurotic patterns that were based on being separate um, and separation are now relaxing in the body. Still sometimes Lisa can be an erotic asshole, but most of the time she's an enlightened saint. But these things, I'm just joking, but it can be, there can be an erosis that comes up, but these things over the years have relaxed more and more because there's no longer that energy that believes it's someone. So Lisa becomes a more balanced, relaxed, peaceful person over time. But that is no longer suffering anymore, even though the still energies working themselves out to become more balanced, it's no longer making a separate entity. So therefore all the emotions and these ideas and old patterns of being go straight through the body and aren't clinging on to make an entity anymore. Now whether that gets to an end or not, I don't know, because in a way you always pick up new patterns of being, but... They certainly seem to relax. Maybe one day it'll get to the end when the whole of society wakes up and and everyone becomes more balanced. In a way, you're kind of never really separate from the society and the peers.